This is Matt once again from Real Talk and Business. What is going on, people? This is Matt once again with another one. I want to just give you a taste on my thought process and what I'm thinking right now. I feel this needs to be heard in society by my observation, by my uh, a- analyzation and everything that I'm witnessing in society. Now, there's no perfect country, none. Every country has its flaws, has its a bad side, so to speak. But America, America takes the cake. It takes the cake, in my opinion. America needs a deep-rooted spiritual cleansing. I repeat, a deep-rooted spiritual cleansing cleansing. America is severely toxic, severely toxic. There is so many people that I'm noticing that are leaving this country for good reason. I'm not mad at them. They're leaving this country for good reason because it's severely toxic. In order for this system to change, People have to protest. People have to fight. People feel they need to riot and cause chaos for change. And that's very sick to think of. Why does anybody have to fight, have to protest just so you can have the basic human rights, just the basic fundamental human rights that everybody should have? No matter what color you are, doesn't make any sense to me. It exists because this system is not in your best interest. America needs a a makeover. It needs to be totally rebranded. You know, it needs a whole restructure from the ground up. The system is not for you, man. It's here to use you. You know, you have to go out there and create opportunity. Now, that's one thing America has is opportunity. You know, if you go out there and make a life and make a way and make a path for yourself, you can get ahead. You can create opportunity if you strive for it. But my thing is, it doesn't matter what opportunity America has. It's still toxic. It still has a a mental imbalance. The racism is still there. You know, the injustice is still there. You see, the the greed is still here. You see, the pollution is still here. You see, the anger is still here. The hostility is still here. You see, the stereotypes is still here. The violence is still here. All of this is still here. No matter how much opportunity it is, it's still here. It's not going away anytime soon because people don't want to change. People are so set in their ways. People, like I say, people like to be swimming in toxicity. Yeah. Yeah. People are moving out of here. You know, people, I keep seeing people, they say, you know, this year, next year, a couple years, they out of here. They're leaving America. They they want a, a, a better quality of life. You know, I can go out here in America, create opportunity uh, become wealthy and have a good quality of life and, and you know, have a decent life where I have the, the things I need to survive. But what about the people around me, though? You know, I can't just think about myself and my own quality of life. What about the people around me? What about the what other people have to go through, you know, with the health care system, you know, with the justice system? with the political system, with with your own uh, uh, city and neighborhoods, with the urban community, with with everything going on. You see, with the police system as we've seen right now. You know, I can't just think about myself. I have to think about other people. I have to think about America. <laughs> we have to think about America and where is it headed? What are we doing right now? You see? Like I said, in order to have change, I have to fight for it. If I don't feel I'm getting the proper treatment, I have to fight for it. I have to put in a petition. 
You know, I, I, I just can't have the basic human rights, the basic fair treatment that everybody should have, regardless of color. You know what I'm saying? I have to put in some paperwork. I have to get a lawyer. <laughs> I have to hold up a sign, write a sign and hold it up and say, please give me justice. Come on now. Come on, America. We could do a lot better than this. What kind of country is this? Well, I, I feel I have to do that. You see, you can you can have everything taken away from you just like that. You can have your cars, your houses, everything taken away from you, man. We're not on the same page with the system. The system is going one way. The people is going another way. And then not only that, we have the people in itself divided. A lot of people feel in America that they have to be on the defense yeah, we have a lot of that going on. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of take, take, take. It's not a lot of giving in America. It's not a lot of giving. It's a lot of taking. People are going for theirs. People want um, what's best for them and their family, and that's it. They're not thinking about anybody else. And this mentality that we're swimming in causes disease. You see, it causes stress. It causes death and chaos. So I don't know. I don't know, man. A lot of people feel that the only way they can get through life is just to leave out of here. I don't, I, I can't fault them for that. I can't, I can't, I can't blame somebody who wants a better quality of life. When they leave out of their door, they don't have to worry about some, some ignorance. You see what I'm saying? People want to leave out their, their house you know, breathe the nature, breathe the fresh air and enjoy life. You see, your quality of life not only depends on what you do to create that quality of life, but it also is heavily inf influenced by the people around you, too. You know, you don't want to be around knuckleheads. You don't want to be around ignorance. You don't want to be around people that just don't give a damn about you and your well-being. You don't want to be around that. So what can you do? Like I said, you can't change people, but what can you do? You can change what you do, right? You can change where you live, right? You can change how you think about uh, your environment, right? That, that's all you can do. That's all you can do right now. Yeah, I just don't see America getting any better anytime soon right now. This, that's just my opinion. You know, we're spiritually emotionally um mentally just way off right now we are severely imbalanced yeah we basically need a miracle just to get things normal and normalized so it's just something to think about man if you are an american citizen